Hello Taurus and welcome to your weekly messages from Spirit video. Taurus, we are going to be looking at some tarot cards and oracle cards to deliver the energies that you are working with this week. I want to remind you as always to have a look at your sun sign, your moon sign and your ascendant sign because by doing so you get a much deeper and fuller reading of the energies that you are working with this week. I have linked in the description box below a website that you can go to and input your own uh, birth details and the website will calculate and give you your natal chart so that you know where all your planetary systems are. Taurus, we have one major arcana card here. So this is the trump card of the reading. It holds the weight of this reading. So really pay attention to any messages that come through this card. So we are opening up this reading uh, with the six of emotions. And Taurus, you are feeling emotional. You might be feeling sad. You might be feeling that energy of nostalgia. Maybe you're missing home. There is just an energy of looking back at the past and maybe you've been feeling that the past was better than this. Before 2020 got here, things were so much better. There's just that energy of feeling a little bit empty, feeling a little bit hollow. We have Saturn here. So this is the energy of feeling restricted. Maybe you are starting to go into lockdowns where you are, or maybe you are already in lockdowns and you are looking at, I could be booking a summer holiday. I could be going on holiday right now and things have changed and I can't do that. There's just this energy, Taurus, of looking back and feeling this yearning this hole, this emptiness inside. And yet, we have our major arcana card. And Taurus, I thought it was interesting because we have, again, that sort of like circles. Circles sometimes in tarot speak about, they're almost like portals to the other side. So we're seeing you here, sitting with your emotions, looking back, and we have our circle and it's almost like a portal to the past, to somewhere. And when we're looking at the world card, we see the other side of the portal and the other side of the portal has this card of the world card. The world card, one of my favorite cards in the tarot, because it shows that you have been through different experiences and they didn't kill you. You have been through the depth of winter in your soul, in your heart. You felt that hollowness, that emptiness, that I don't know where I go from here. And from feeling that, you also went through the energies of autumn. And the energies of autumn where it's not winter yet, but it's not summer yet. And it's almost like you're suspended between the two. You're suspended between where you are now, the past, and where you could be. And then you have your spring, where it's that excitement and that new life. And oh, life is good. And so with this world card, it's, the energies that you've gone through, you've gone through all different types of emotions, you've gone through all different types of challenges, you've gone through all different types of situations. And guess what, Taurus? They didn't kill you. They added to your experience. They added to who you are. They added to who you will be in the future because in the future you draw upon all the different types of experiences that you've had. You can make better judgments, better decisions, and in doing so, you come to the world, which is the card that speaks about accomplishments and, ac and the endings, right? There's a word I wanted to use, but it just 
literally popped out of my head. <laughs> so this word is here talking about accomplishing all different types of learning of different situations, different challenges, different emotions because we have our water surrounding our lady and this is about your emotions and you don't let your emotions rule you. You don't run away from them either. You appreciate what your emotions have to teach you, who they made you. You appreciate that being in the here and the now, you are in perfect harmony, you are in perfect balance. This is a card that speaks about self-understanding on a deep, deep level. You no longer look back at the past with a longing and you don't look at the future with wondering what is coming and feeling afraid. But you are in the here and the now, understanding how to utilize the gifts, the talents, the experiences, the emotions, everything that you are to create a winning experience, a winning human experience that is full of experiences, of adventures, of disappointments too. Because when it's all said and done and you're looking back at your life, this is a card that sees you feeling like, yes, I did it. So this is a card that speaks about that happy ending to an experience. This is the card that speaks about peace and harmony because you have to go through challenges. You have to climb to the top of that mountain. You have to feel the pain and the challenges to get to the top of that mountain. And then when you look back and then when you look at the views ahead of you, you think, wow, it was worth it. And guess what? I made it. This card is about joy. It's about success. This card is about tranquility. This card is about complete understanding. And so this is where you are. You are feeling like the past was better than this. People are fighting. People are arguing. There's so much chaos out there in the world. What's going to happen? And then you're understanding that all those different types of experiences and everything that you go through, everything that you witness, is creating a happy ending. Because like when we watch movies, think about the best movies that you love. Was it just a movie that there were no challenges, nothing really happened? And when we got to the end, it was a happy ending. But it's like, I don't understand how it's a happy ending. There was no challenges. There was nothing to overcome. So of course it's a happy ending. This character, this person was always wrapped in cotton wool. They never stepped out of their comfort zone. That was a lame story. I want my money back. But when you watch a movie where the character goes through challenges and rises above that, and the character gets knocked down, but becomes bigger with experience, becomes better, and is able to conquer anything that is thrown at them through different types of experience that they've gone through. Now you can start relating to this character. Now you relate to this character through similar type of experiences that you've gone through. So what these cards are trying to say is that feel your emotions, of course, lots of people are feeling afraid of the future and looking back at the past and thinking it was better. But you are going to transition and understanding that all these experiences, even though they might be hard at times, they were necessary because when you look at big, big, <laughs> when you look at back, a couple of years from now, you're going to understand why it was necessary for all these different type of challenges to happen. Because from there, the story was full, was rich. Your life story was beautiful. You were able to now tell your grandkids 
or your friends, children, or your new friends, this is what happened. And oh my God, you can't believe this. But I made it, right? I made it. And your friends would be like, are you happy you went through that journey? And you look back and say, yes, I'm happy. At the time, it felt challenging, but actually I am happy because you are understanding that you are your own hero. You have to rescue yourself from any negative situation. You have to give yourself that pep talk. You have to lift yourself up. You have to dust yourself down, put your gloves on and fight for another day. And at the same time, when it's taught time for fighting, you know you can take those gloves off and enjoy life and enjoy new experiences. And from there, life is rich. Life is good. And the future for you will be good. So don't be lost and stuck in this disappointment that is here, in this nostalgic energy that is here. So enough of that. Let's have a look at our Oracle cards and see what they have to say. So with this card, it's asking you to balance spirituality and practicality. Understanding that we are spiritual beings having a human experience and not to get too caught up in the human experience itself, but not to lose yourself too much in the spirituality either, to remain balanced in both experiences. And so, this card is like your warning card asking you and warning you that if you stay in this energy for too long you could start feeling disappointed you could start losing yourself you could start losing your color you could start losing the passion that's going to get you here to this card so this card your warning card is asking you or rather telling you that this energy of nostalgia of disappointing disappointment is gaining momentum it is time to get up from this situation. Take the time to heal. Take the time to look back and understand where you're going, where you've been. But don't stay here for too long. At some point, it is time to get up. It is time to carry on with your journey through the different seasons of your life. So we're seeing that our next card is telling you that your emotions are running high or there's just emotions around you that are just really high at the moment. So remember to protect your energy. Remember to nourish your mind, your body and your spirit. Maybe it is time to pray. Maybe you haven't prayed for a while. And it doesn't matter if you believe in God or not. I am not religious and yet I know that I need to connect to the divine. I know I need to call home sometimes. I know that by calling home, by connecting with the divine, I get inspired. I feel loved. I feel nurtured. I feel like I can fight another day. So our last card is the energy that you are working with, Taurus. And the energy that you are working with is the moon energy. And the moon energy is again an energy that speaks of our emotions. Our emotions are really connected to the moon. And so let's have a look at the book to see what the book has to say about that energy. So you can really understand and appreciate how you are working with this energy this week. So we need to go to number 14. All right. And I will hold up this card so that you can focus on it, meditate on it so that it can deliver the message that it needs to deliver to you. I'm trying to focus on this card and it's not focusing right now. Let's bear with me. Okay, good. We've got to focus there. All right. So the moon. The moon shows us the regularity of cycles and teaches us about the importance of change as it moves through its cycles each month. It governs emotions, instincts, and intuition, as well as our memory and imagination. Issues around, bear with me one second. It's hard to do everything with one hand. Issues around the maternal figures, 
traditions and adaptability can also be re represented by the moon card. So this card is all about the mom. So maybe call home. Maybe you're looking back at a time when you were younger and you're missing home. And by connecting with family, you could just bridge that gap for you and give you that nourishment so that you can get up and fight another day. The moon card is about our emotion. The moon card also encourages us to take time to heal, to take time to sit with ourselves and be still and go within so that, so that we can understand why we are feeling the way we're feeling. Sometimes we're sad, but we have everything. And we wonder, why do I feel sad? And you can't quite put your finger on it. And this is the time to sit down and to connect with yourself. Sometimes you're happy and sometimes you are just neither. So with the moon is the energy that just asks you to sit with yourself, to go within, to always be checking in with yourself to see how you are. Because as this is the card of the mother or the energy of the mother, sometimes you have to mother yourself. Sometimes you have to provide yourself with that emotional nourishment, that love, that caringness. So this is the energy that the moon is encouraging you to have. So Taurus, this is the reading that I have for you. I wish you all the best of luck this week. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I'm going to see you in my next video. And it's a goodbye from me.